there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today I'm going to be taking you through a virtual rogues gallery of five forgotten Mario power-ups. No doubt if you're a Mario veteran like me, you will remember all of these, but they have fallen off the radar for most gamers out there. So, without any further stalling for time, let's get into it. Number five, Frog Suit. This is an interesting item and one that I'm actually rather fond of, but that doesn't stop it from falling directly into the history book since its debut in Super Mario Bros. 3. It makes swimming an absolute breeze, but not even the frog suit can save you from the mighty Big Bertha. Stupid fish! Plague my childhood, will you? Take that! Yeah! Oh god, you've got a friend. Number four, Pea Balloon. This power-up is borderline obscure. It doesn't really aid Mario in any way, other than to give him serious internal gas problems, causing him to bloat in a manner that's bound to have some sort of adverse effects. Its only appearance was in Super Mario World in a grand total of four levels, but it was only really mandatory for one. Its ballooning effects lived on in Super Mario 64 DS, but the balloon was entirely absent. It would be sad if anybody cared. Number three, Super Acorn. This is a strange one, as it's certainly the most recent power-up on the list. Appearing in New Super Mario Bros. U, it offered very little in terms of distinct capabilities beyond that of the Super Cape from Super Mario World and the Super Leaf from Super Mario Bros. 3. It's an entirely forgettable item, which is rather an appropriate metaphor for the entire game it comes from. Burn! Number 2, Invisibility Cap. Nigh on all the power-ups in Super Mario 64 were caps, and whilst the wing cap and the metal cap are still recognised today, the invisibility cap has fallen into obscurity. Sure, you're basically invulnerable and you can travel through grates for some reason, but you're not metal and you're not flying through the air, so it was bound to happen. Not a bad power-up by any level, but it just pales in comparison to its cohorts. And finally, number one, Boo Mushroom. I love the Boo Mushroom almost too much. I think it's a brilliant power-up that deserves far more love than it gets, and it gets very little. It's only present in three galaxies in the original Super Mario Galaxy, and Amiga 1 in the sequel. We need more Boo action, but not the kind that these Boos think they're getting when they see Boo Mario's magnificent moustache. Haha, <laughs> take that you phantom git. Do you agree with our list? Why not let us know by leaving a comment down there in the old place where comments usually lie. Alternatively, if you've got an idea for a video that you'd like to see from Nintendo Life in the future, why not leave a comment or better yet tweet us at Nintendo Life. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you finally introduce your weird friend to that subscribe button and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye bye.